You know what to do after a breakup? You be toxic. You get back with them, say you'll change and all that other crap and say, it's oh, it's all my fault. I love you. Get back with them. Dump them. Done. You can surely see your so much more to me. Have you ever been really sad? Have you ever had your heart broken? Have you ever got dumped? Have you ever been ghosted? So a subscriber hit me up and said that she just got dumped by her man and she needed a video of comforting fragrances or fragrances that make her happy. And this is that video. It was a while ago. She's probably like, dude, I dumped it back with my man, dumped him, now I'm with somebody else. Your video's hella late. But anyways, I am recently single as well. I didn't get dumped, but you know. <clears throat> It still sucks trying to forget somebody and kind of like X them out of your life. It's a grieving process. And um, actually one of my, my cousin, I love you. She, um, oh, I shouldn't say her name. <laughs> um, she recently, uh, dude, I just feel like everybody's breaking up. Everybody doesn't want to um, buy each other Christmas presents. So they're getting it done right after summer. <laughs> anyways uh, so not the point but if you guys are going through something i hope this video makes you happy whether or not these fragrances will make you happy i do not guarantee nothing so at number one this is just something i love to smell um and i love to smell it on women too and super sexy but <clears throat> it is black opium by yves saint laurent this makes me happy every time I smell it. It's deep, it's sensual, it's coffee, vanilla. I also get a little licorice in here. I smell this after I've been crying and I'm ready to feel like a hot girl again. Like, everybody, I'm the best. I'm an amazing. This makes me like feel like a badass. I wipe all those tears away. Let's put on the makeup. Let's go out. Let's dress like little <laughs> and let's do it. Yes. Another way to put this is this is like my guilty ice cream after crying that tastes so good and rich and naughty. Like you feel like a little guilty eating it, but you don't care because it's so good. Ugh. This makes me happy. I love smelling this. I get six to eight hours on a black opium. If you haven't heard about black opium, where have you been? Everybody knows about it. Everybody, everybody knows about this. It's good. Okay, next. This is the fragrance that you need when you are six paragraphs deep into texting your ex, like six paragraphs deep, calling them this and that, talking sh about they mom, um, going all about kind of ways, blaming all of them. You're you're just, you're, you're texting, you're texting and your eyes are full of tears and you're just like, I hate you. And then you, you reread it. You're like, this is stupid. And you delete it all. And then you just sit there and you cry because you want to tell somebody your feelings, but you can't tell them because they're not trustworthy anymore. When my eyes are all puffy from a four hour cry, this is what I like to smell. And this is Lacombe, Lacombe by Keiko Macheri. This is powder, like a powdered honey and a little rose, just like for freshness, but it's sweet and it's deep. The powder in here is borderline jo Baby Johnson's powder. And I think maybe that's why it's so comforting to me. Uh, I forgot to mention, there's a whole bunch of almond in here. This is a, like a nice powdery gourmand that literally, I've sprayed on this when I was crying and just like stuffed my face in a sweater and was just like smelling it and it made me feel calm. It made me feel comforted. It was like, you know when you're tripping and your family member come in your room and you're crying and they just, they don't even, they don't want, you know, you're not that comfortable so you don't want to talk about it but they just hug you and then you cry more but you just feel like love and you feel comforted. That is what I feel when I, spray this and when I'm wearing it. I really love Lacoon. Um, another similar one to this is by Montal Oriental something. I'll put it on the screen. Um, 
a lot of people on Fragrantica said that that smells similar and it's a lot cheaper than this. Um, but I smelled this first, so I bought this. I don't know if, if the other one is very similar to this, but honey, almond, powdery, like it's a powdery almond, honey, and rose, a little rose. I don't get a lot of rose out of this. So good. It's so good. Makes me so happy and gets my tears dried up and gone. Next. So this next one is really special to me. Whenever I am missing my grandma, especially, I, I lost my grandma, I wanna say when I was 21, to breast cancer and I was there when she passed away too and whenever I miss her and I wanna like feel her presence again, this is what I spray and it's Eau de Hadrine. I am probably saying that so wrong. Um, by Anique Goutal. This is a sweet, fresh fragrance, and the reason I love it and that it reminds me of my grandma is because it smells just like lemongrass. Lemongrass is not a note in here, but all the fresh notes that are in here come off to me like lemongrass. Um, my grandma and my dad and my great grandma, who's actually still alive, um, they would boil lemongrass in a pit, in a pot with water so that we can use it in our tea and our cocoa, hot chocolate. That lemongrass smell really reminds me of my grandma and I love this. I can't wait for spring to really like wear this because I bought this more in the summer and I think this will be perfect in the spring. Um, I get about eight hours wear on this, which is pretty good too. It's not a projection beast or anything like that, but it is very classy and literally fresh lemongrass. If you smelt lemongrass, you know. And if you haven't smelt lemongrass, go to the freaking grocery store right now and go get some, boil some on a pot and mix it with your hot chocolate. It's so good. Yeah, okay. My next comforting fragrance that I also use to wear to bed, it's actually a body mist and that is um, Brazilian Crush by Sol de Janeiro. I said that wrong. It is pistachios and caramel. I really just get like a nutty caramel and I love it. I love it, I love it. It's delicious. It smells so good and, oh, I'm gonna spray this on me now. This smells a lot like gelato to me from um, Belayered. I wear gelato all the time. Wow. There's a similar note in it. It's the nuttiness, because I get a nuttiness in gelato. Anyways, besides the point, um, I get four hours with this projecting on me. Um, I love it for nighttime. It's relaxing, it's beautiful. One of my subscribers a while ago when I talked about this was like, um, no, I'm not wearing this to bed. When I wear this, people gotta smell me because it is really that good. I haven't tried the fragrance that they made, which is basically the exact same smell. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I, I might try it after I'm done with this whole mist, which who knows when that will be. It makes me happy. It makes me feel sexy. I think that's why I wear it to bed. I just like spray myself and I go to bed feeling like a bed. Next. My last comforting fragrance is actually Amouage Sunshine. I don't even have to spray it. I don't even have to spray it. I can just smell it from the cap. And it makes me feel like I've snuck away after a long day and just like, smoked a bomb cigarette. I've never, I've never smoked cigarettes, but I imagine that that like relief and that exhale when you, when you like puff up after like a long day, I feel like that's what this smells like to me. It's relaxing to me. It feels, maybe I'm just addicted to the tobacco smell now. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I don't know. This is super comforting to me, relaxing. I love it. Um, guys, this is a osmanthus, which is apricots and white tobacco. There are other um, notes in there, but that's mostly what I get out of this. Um, a lot of people, it's a, they say that it borderlines ashy cigarette to them, and I can see that, but I like it. This is like a leathery, apricot tobacco that I love. And I'm so happy that it's in my collection. You know what to do after a breakup? You be toxic. 
you get back with them, say you'll change and all that other crap and say, it's oh, it's all my fault. I love you. Get back with them. Dump them. Done. And say, yeah, that's what happens when you try to dump me. Nah, that's just that's just something I would do. Don't don't do that though. But you know, me and my love relationships are pretty pretty toxic. Anyways, those are my fragrances that um, make me feel comforted and make me happy. What are yours? Leave it in the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Up, like the video, BZ. Come on, help your girl out.